before we get into it, become a channel member or patron. Also, get us a 5,000 sub so we can do a game package giveaway. Watch this video all the way through. It helps the channel get noticed and more people come. So, we're going to go into the Idris P and the Idris M. Now, this is for like elite buyers. If you've got the money, obviously, you don't have to think about which one you want to buy and you don't really have to think about it. Now, one thing you do have to think about right now is the Idris P isn't available and the only way you can get an Idris M is if you get the $16,500 pack or the Legatus pack. So just take that into consideration. Now one is 242 meters long and the other one is 233. Now the difference is the Idris M obviously comes with the railgun, the Idris P does not. Okay. So getting into the ships themselves, I'm not going to go off any other information but the official site. I've looked around and I've gone into it. I've tried to have a look around. So between uh, Idris P and the Idris M, obviously if you have the money, like I said, and you can get that $16,500 pack, it, that's where your issue lays. So obviously uh, we'll go through the Idris M. 242 meters long, 126 meter beam, 46 meters high, capital ship, 37,459,548 kilograms, 831 cargo space. You can have a minimum crew of 8 people, up to 28 people of a maximum crew. You have a large radar, you have 6x medium computers, you have 2 capital fuel intakes, you have a capital fuel tank, capital quantum drive, capital jump module, capital quantum fuel tank, 6x VTOL thrusters, 2x retro thrusters, 2x main thrusters, 13x fixed manoeuvring thrusters, 2x capital power plants, 2 um, capital coolers, 6 medium cool, uh, coolers, well, you select the one you want, I guess, depends on which one performs better. You can have 2 capital shield generators or 12 medium shield generators, or if you have the both, it's, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, the weapons... As you can see, we're not really going to go through it off of this page, but we will go through the Idris P now. Obviously, 233, yeah, everything's the same except for the weight, 37,310,200 kilos. And we have a cargo capacity of 995. Same sort of uh, cruise, large, large radar, nothing there has really changed at all. So with the weapons on these, like I said, there is a difference between the weapons and whatnot. We can scroll up here. This is the Idris M. So you've got size 10s, uh, the Claus and Werner, um, but you don't have it on the Idris P, obviously. So I'm going to guess that may be the um, the railgun. You got 10 size 8, well, per mount, so one mount. You got 10 size 8s. You've also got um, two per mount, so you got two mounts. Um, they're size 4s. You got the Revenant Ballistic Gatlings, you got size 7 uh, M9A lasers, you got size 5 um, Goldarine laser repeater, and there's th 5 mounts for that on the Idris M. So we'll go over to Idris P, you've got this size 10, uh, it says available, but I don't think it is, so this is the Destroy Mass Drive, so this will be the Railgun, which this one does not have. This has the size 4 um, Revenant Ballistic Gatling, there's four mounts for that, and there's six mounts for the Geldering Laser Repeater, which is a size five, and there's two per mount. So, like I said, going into these, there's a massive difference. Obviously, there's going to be a massive price difference as well. This one's 1500 where this one, you don't really have a price for the Idris M because it's in a massive pack of $16,500. Whether or not it become available down the line, I'm not sure, but their whole point with this is to have limited in-game. So, Going into these ships, like I said, you've got six times class five bearing M3C ASA turrets on the Idris M, one times class six bearing M5C STS turrets, class six anti ship missile launcher, you got the claws through destroyer spinal mount railgun with the Idris P, you got the seven times class five bearing M3C ASA turrets, um, class six bearing M5C STS turret. Now, like I said, there's a lot going on with these ships. You have to have large crews, like massive crews, actually. Man these ships. They are big. Now, I've had my um, 890 jump up next to one while well, I ran it into it. And, yeah, obviously not that much of a difference in size. Well, I think it's like, what is this? It's like 200 meters long. So, it's yeah, got that 30 meters, 40 meters on it, which is pretty crazy to think about that in this perspective of um, ships. So... Unless you've got the money for it and you can 
really like for these comfortably and you don't have to worry about money like money is probably not really an object to you or it is an object but you just think you need to add it to your fleet um idris m is the way to go obviously having the sixteen and a half thousand dollar pack now the way you see this is become part of the chairman's club but if you're happy with the idris p you could probably salvage the railgun and attach it to the idris p i'm not entirely sure how that is going to work so if you are thinking about getting one of these just remember it is a large ship you're not going to be able to take it onto planets it's purely going to be staying out in space you've got med bays you've got missile rooms you've got bathrooms you've got a mess hall you've got engine rooms briefing room bridge uh, cargo bay sleeping quarters escape pods you've got everything on this ship you've got a control room you've got pilot ready you got cells like what this thing is going to be the ultimate ship now obviously these are retired uee ships so having these are going to be quite crazy to have you got hangers as well so you're going to be able to put a few ships in it. i know you will be able to put like a prospector in them as well like a few prospectors that could be full but just the space on this ship it's going to be quite crazy whether or not having to get into battle is going to affect your hangar and whether or not ships bounce around or not going into quantum jump um, and just having those sort of everyday issues and things you got to think about in the armory windows you got like your weapons set up like uh, wall mounts and whatnot you got a brig it's this ship is pretty much it's got everything you need everything that you want but whether or not you have the money to spend on one of these is another story now if you've taken one and you glitched into one throughout the um, Idris missions when you could um, obviously you know it was a heavily steering ship and it had the railgun was just flipping massive but just going through this like the turret rooms the med bays this thing's going to have everything that you need so you've got shooting ranges like what <laughs> it's it's got it's got a sim pod room it's got everything that you would probably need and probably stuff you don't even need but you just have it there anyway because obviously you've spent that ridiculous amount of money on a ship now i could get into these a bit more but the ships speak for themselves it's if you've got the money you can buy it like the difference between these two isn't a lot but it is massive at the same time because you've got that massive railgun at the front of it now it says size 10 uh, available so i'm going to guess that you can put a size 10 railgun on it you can salvage it or you're going to have to buy it in game because i do know some of these are going to come without a lot of stuff like the interest p but you're going to have to spec it in game and you're going to have to get the parts that you need obviously you're going to have to build up to the money point to get to these in game it depends on how you earn your money as well because to take one of these out isn't light and you're going to have to make a lot of money just to fly one of these because the, the fuel bill on this is going to be ridiculous now having this against the polaris as well the polaris is going to be a decent ship but obviously it's going to be no competitor for the idris if you have a javelin the javelin is going to be bigger than the idris and as i know the cannons can wreck an idris so and hammerheads and all sorts of ships smaller than it obviously being the javelin but yeah like i said if you Think about if you are thinking about getting a Idris and you have no worries of money, give me some money so I can buy one as well. Give me some money so I can buy that massive chairman's pack. Not really, but uh, hope you enjoy this. Support the channel, watch this all the way through, and uh, thank you so much for watching.